What's up everyone? This is Alex Tack from PR Tech Reviews and today we are on a very, very hot summer day in Central California to introduce something I've been using actually for the last uh, one or two years. It's the 3 d Connection Space Navigator. Let's get started. So, what is the 3D Connection Space Navigator? So, what it is, it's a 3D controller. So, it's essentially a mouse with six axes that allows you to control an environment in 3D. So, you can use it for 3DS Max, for CAD applications, for Google Earth, and they've actually now introduced a new feature where you can scroll within browsers and other different programs. So, instead of talking to you about it, let me show you. The Space Navigator runs on a standard USB or universal serial bus connector that you just plug into any normal computer. Now the build quality on this is extremely nice. You can see that there's the aluminum finish as long as the blue LEDs on the inside with a rubber matte finish where your hands will go and on the top you can see a glossy black finish adding a very nice touch. Now as you can see here to use the 3D Connection Space Navigator is relatively easy. So with a comfortable position, you tilt forward to tilt it forward, tilt back, tilt back, you press in to zoom out, pull out to zoom out in, and then twist to rotate, as well as panning forward, backward, left, and right. It's relatively easy, and once you get good at it, it's pretty nice. There is a learning curve of about one week, but once you get past that learning curve, it has improved my efficiency by at least 75%. Now that you've seen the Space Navigator in action, I want to show you one more cool accessory that 3D Connection offers you. For ten, only $10, you can buy this on their website. They offer a really cool case, and uh, the case itself, it's really nice. It's padded. It's hard case, so it won't get crushed. And... It's pretty cool for the person who's always on the road and needs this whenever he goes. Thank you guys. Like and subscribe. You know the deal. If you guys have any questions, leave a comment down below. And we'll hope to see you next time in another video for Pure Tech.